Hey guys, on today's tutorial, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch to the latest iOS. So, first of all, let's just go right into settings. Under settings, I want you guys to make a quick backup. Backup is just in case we have to restore your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch if something bad happens. So make that update, make that backup right up here, which is your first option. Okay, so just click on your name or whatever name you have for your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, and um, then there you go. Just make that backup on iCloud okay if you guys have no more space on your iCloud then don't worry about it just connect it to your computer and use iTunes which is a free program to make that backup all right so let's just scroll down and then let's go into general under general we're gonna see the second option where it says software update under software update we're supposed to see this popping up now again once this loads up as you guys can see it's gonna say download and install so the first part is downloading if your iPhone, for example, turns off when it's downloading the update, doesn't really matter. You guys can continue downloading later on. However, if it turns off when you're installing, then you're in problems, okay? You will have to restore. So, and that's why I mentioned making that backup just in case you guys do end up having have to restore. So, just make sure you guys have at least 50% of your battery even if you guys have, let's say, 99% of your battery or 100% like I do at this point, I still like to hook it up to some electricity when I'm doing any update on it, okay? Even when I'm downloading, I still have it connect to some electricity. Um, as you guys can see, it's only 30 megabytes, which is nothing. So this will not take more than 15 minutes. If you guys are there hanging out for half an hour and it's still doing the update and installing, could happen with older iPhones. For example and if you have your iphone ipod touch like really full of apps and other stuff it could take longer than that but i would say maximum 40 minutes and that's if everything's really going really really slow other than that you guys might be in trouble and you might be stuck and might have to restore okay so um if you guys do not see this update so let's just start downloading first all right so it might ask you for your passcode if you guys have one after that it's gonna start downloading okay um like i said if you guys don't see this update on your iphone ipod touch that might be because it's an older iphone okay such so as an iphone 4 or an ipod 2 for example um however sometimes you just don't see the update it just never loads so that's when you guys have to hook it up to your computer and use i um once you guys do the update Again, it's not going to take for most of you more than 15 minutes. Um, I can see with the newer iPhones, this taking only up to even from 5 to 10 minutes, okay? Downloading and installation. So I wouldn't wor worry about it too much. Um, and again, if you guys don't see the update, just use iTunes to verify that you guys can update to this iOS. Um, iPad 2, for example, is stuck at a really old iOS. So is an iPhone 4, 4S. So don't be too concerned if you guys can't update to the latest iOS. Um, even if you could, let's say, it would make your iPhone extremely slow. It's just not even worth it. Um, if you guys are thinking of other ways such as jailbreak, jailbreak, it, you're, it's not going to update your iPhone, okay? Jailbreak's amazing. It's going to open your, your iPhone to do amazing things, but it's not going to update your iOS. And um, there's actually a lot of things, updates that come with iOS 11, for example, that were taken basically from jailbreaking. Jailbreaking had a bunch of things opened up before and they used to work. And then with the new updates from iOS, you guys would see those updates being done. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write them down here really in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.